So now let's look at this in detail, our logs and tracing. So I'm going to log in as was MGR. I'm going to go down to troubleshooting and I'll click on logs and trace. Notice the very first thing you have to do is select a server. So ICFM server and then take a look at this. We had said we had a log and a trace uh, in under log. We had JVM, we had process and we had server log. So I'm referring to this uh, this video uh, which we were just looking at. So the log is the one element and the trace is the other and then those we have to go. Both of these uh, are subject to setting lo log levels. So you do thing one equals blah, thing two equals blah, and a colon will separate the multiple things. And then you have these profiles and all of these things that, that we are set up to do uh, that we're trying to trace are applied at the server level. And then these components, these thing equals apply to the application. So the you can see here's our logs, right? Those are the three that we just talked about that we just saw. We have a diagnostic trace separately. Uh, and then we have our log level details. So if we wanted to start out with the log, you can see that we can't add any parameters here uh, to, to things to log, that is. These are just showing us where the logs are located, system error and system log. We see the configuration and the runtime tabs. Remember that the configuration, in fact, it'll, it'll tell us right here, that changes in the configuration panel apply when the server, that's the JVM, is restarted. And, and bigger than that, the JVM log itself is telling you that you would use this page to view and modify the settings for the JVM, JVM system.out and system error dot, uh, logs, system error, system dot error logs. Notice that the system uh, dot error is meant for, tells you right here, exception stack trace information. But if you want that plus regular information about what the system is doing, then that would go into system out. So this is like the Java EE and the Java uh, SE uh, uh, information that you would expect to log. Where is it going to go? And in the configuration, it will go to system out.log and it'll go to system error.log. And then there's the runtime tab if you wanted it set here. Now, notice too, we also have the process logs. Process is a bit of a strange name, but what it does is the it, right here, the process logs are created by redirecting the standard out and standard uh, error streams to of a process to independent log files. I'm going to make this a little bigger, so it's easier to read. And that is the purpose of, of the process logs. And in fact, that's actually what we're doing in counter fraud management. So if you go to runtime, you can see that these are set to ICFM log. So they are being written out to this, uh, this other location. We don't want that. So the next thing we have is the service logs. And... Uh, you can see uh, it configures the IBM service log. It's also called the activity log. It contains both the application server messages that are written to system out, stream, and special messages that contain extended service information that you can use to analyze problems. So we have these various types of logs. But again, none of this says what it is that we are logging. It's just information about th these three. That is, none of these tell us what it is that we are going to log. So to do that, we need to get into the log detail levels. But before we do that, now we want to look at the trace. And remember, we are talking about the trace having two sections, the config and the runtime. Those are the tabs. They apply when we restart the JVM uh, in the case of config. And in runtime, it's immediate, just like we had seen. So configuration and runtime. And first of all, it says, diagnostic trace provides detailed information about how the application server components run within this managed process. And that's really the key. It tells you how uh, it tells you what is gone wrong. It, it's, it, it's looking at the components, and this is really important because the syntax that we had said before, this thing equals, the thing one is a component. It's a Java package or an actual component inside JVM. So the diagnostic trace is where we want to spend, uh, w this needs to be set up for us in order to look at the diagnostic traces. And notice especially this here. The path to get here uh, of this file is different. It's not system error.log. It's not system um, out.log. It's trace.log. That is the dis other major distinction between the trace and the log. If we look at the log, and by log we're talking, in this case about JVM logs, look at this. Go to JVM and it's system out.log and it's system error.log. And that is very different from trace, where trace is indeed trace.log, as it says right here. Now, again, this is just setup information. It does not tell us what it is that we want to log. So to do that, and that's for trace and for these three logs. So if you want that information, you need to go to change log detail levels. 
and this is exactly as we had said before. Uh, you click components to specify a log detail level for individual components, or click groups to specify a log detail level for predefined groups of components. So let's look at this. Uh, in detail. So you have components and you have groups. Now, before we go into that, I just want to point out that we have been distinguishing again between logs and traces. And take a look at this. If you need them to be together in the same uh, file, essentially, you can correlate the two. And so you could click on this button and you could uh, use the request IDs. I'll let you run through this. Uh, we are not going to do that, but uh, it is this would correlate the two. They're not the same thing. So Again, we have a configuration tab, we have a runtime tab. If you want to, well, let me just show you in practice, much easier. If you go to components and groups, and we click uh, on components, which is actually we've already done, you can see all of the components that are available for this JVM, this particular JVM. If our, um, if our node manager, uh, our deployment manager, which has these node agents, were down. So if this, uh, we couldn't connect over to this machine, th this uh, particular ICFM server, if we, if we couldn't make that connection over to the server, then we wouldn't see the same components because those components are interrogated live when you click on components. So uh, if you're not seeing the whole list, that could be why. Go to groups. These are just groups of components, but we're not going to spend much time in here. We're just going to use components. And I want to point out, again, the star, uh, remember it's thing equals, the syntax thing equals, and the, and the level that you want. A star refers to every single component possible. So that means every single thing in here will get the info level. And if we now want to include specific detail on counter fraud, we would go down to com.ibm.cf.star. And if I click, and, and before I click on it, notice there's also a CFM. That's different. This is just for logging. So practically speaking, you would want to spend your time here. If I click on this, notice what we get. We see no logging at all, or we see messages only. The reason this is grayed out is because we have a value up here. In fact, if I take that out and I click on it, now we can see messages only because info means messages. So if I click on this again, and I go down to all messages and traces. Look what would happen here. There we get the colon. The colon separates the components of so this list of things we want to look at. We get com.ibm.cf. asterisk. That's every single component, but only inside counter fraud. So that's going to mean all of these components here would be logged. And every single type of information possible would be logged because that's what the equals all stands for. Now, if I take that out, and I click back here and I go down to message and trace levels. Notice what it says up here. Log detail levels are cumulative. What that means is that in the case of messages, which is different from tracing, so this is the trace applies to the trace that we've, these trace uh, service that we've been talking about. It uses a separate system from just regular messages, which is more like log, uh, information from log, uh, the logs, the, the JVM, the process and the service. So in the case of tracing, if and, and specifically to this message, log detail levels are cumulative, what that means is detail is sort of like the parent, and everything he listed here are children. So it's detail. If you select detail, you're going to get config. You'll get info, audit, warning, severe, and fatal. If I just selected audit, you'd get audit, warning, severe, and fatal, but you wouldn't get config or detail. The same applies down here to trace levels for finest, finer, and fine. So if I select finest, look what I get. I will get com.ibm.cf dot star so all of those equals finest and I would get all of the tracing information for that now bec this is in the configuration tab so I would have to restart my JVM if I wanted that to take effect but in this case I don't and what I'm, in fact what I want to do is go to the runtime tab because I want to see this taking place immediately and in fact what I want to do here is I'm going to save this as so I, the sort we're going to start basically with the defaults and let's go to runtime. And now what I'm going to do is copy and paste that in here. And you'll have to be careful with spaces. It doesn't like um, syntax errors. And then we'll hit apply at the bottom of the, or OK at the bottom of the screen. But I want to show you that you can see all of that running live. So let's do that. I'm going to move this over to the right side of the screen. And I'm going to log into my core server. And in the core server, I'm going to open up a tail, tail-f, on the trace.log because we're in the runtime tab. And if I 
hit enter here and then I hit get some space by hitting enter a bunch of times and then I go down to OK notice what happens immediately we see the trace state has changed the new state is info e and then we're basically out of the setting we just put so now this is interesting because I was trying to debug a problem in uh, counter fraud and if I click here for example and I click on deploy use case that's going to do a bunch of processing and take a look at what happens all of this information the most detail you could possibly get from our software from counter fraud is going to be displayed here now if you and so this is great for debugging if you need lots of detail now if you wanted to set this back to the value it was at before let's do that and hit save or hit OK notice that you don't necessarily see it listed here and so we can rerun our trace and you still don't see it so that's interesting but you'll also see and let me give some more space down here let's like so if I now were to go back right I've got this set for nothing in here uh, and I want to rerun the same thing I did before and hit deploy look at this no additional information so you can see immediately the impact of using these trace.log uh, and, and log entries in general uh, on your screen